Hi everyone. So uh, welcome back. And today I am showing you my outfit of the day. Uh, I'm going to be filming today the kitchen tour, and I might um, do the study today also. So um, before I even start all of that, I'm doing the outfit of, of the day. So here I have a. Uh, it's a hot coral. Um, but a uh, button-down uh, collar shirt. It has two pockets, and uh, like always, when it's long sleeve, I'll you know I'll pick it up and you know, cuff it up. And um, I have these pants that I bought from ASOS. They're a little big on me just because I'm kind of losing a little bit of weight. And um, but that's okay. If they are even bigger next year, then I'll, I guess you know I'll get rid of them. But um, they're also coral. I have a, I have, if you see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is here. Um, I have um, like a silver rhinestone belt. And um, let me show you my shoes. Um, these are uh, pointy shoes. They have a small little heel. And they're called uh, Saku Comfort. And they're made in Italy. Okay. Um, these, uh, for most of you guys that know fashion, you guys know that this is coming back big time, uh, the pointy shoe. I don't even know why they left in the first place because I used to love these. Um, especially these tiny heels. I don't do heels, but this is as far as I will go. Okay. And then um, my bag of the day is this bag right here. Okay. Not, not too much to say about the bag. Um, it has yellow, it has uh, like a coral orange, it has like a, like a minty green, and the handle is um, like a mustard, like a mustard yellow, okay? And then it has the little zipper here. And it's comfortable, but if you're going to put a lot of things in it, this is not the bag. This is just the bag that you go um, when you have something to do, an errand or whatnot, but not something for all day where you're putting all your stuff okay. and then for my jewelry for today my um asos watch okay which looks similar to the michael kors but it's not okay and this is again basically what i've always said you want to look good you want your house to look good but why spend the, the big bucks i'm not saying that i don't have a michael kors watch i do but there's no reason, no, for me personally, there's no reason to have, you know, four or five Michael Kors when something like this can do, you know, the same thing. Um, I have my beaded gold um, string um, bracelet, okay. Here I have a coral base bracelet. I have uh, like a, like an aqua stone bracelet, okay. And then I have this link bracelet that I've had for a while. And then here in my rings, I mix the colors that I have on today, which is um, a coral, a hot orange, um, a minty green, and an aqua. And then here I have like a little, like a little rhinestone. Okay. And here, like always, engagement ring, wedding ring. And then up here, <laughs> sorry guys, sometimes my husband does my videos, especially my outfits of the day, because they're hard for me to do. And so sometimes I, I go too fast and he's just trying to catch up. But um, here I have these little dangly um, rhinestone and it's like a coral also to match like the blouse. Um, I don't mind the matchy matchy, um, but I, I'm eclectic also. I don't have to match everything, but sometimes I like to. Um, and so these, these are the dangling a little. And once again, my hair is picked up in that that bun that I had explained to you guys before that I'm going to be um, using a lot just because it's, it gets hot and my hair is long and you guys if you see my 50 random facts you know I don't like to blow dry my hair so this way I just you know it doesn't have to be perfect blow dry that I can pick it up so that's it that's the outfit of the day guys I hope you enjoy and um, stay tuned for the kitchen tour and my study tour bye have a great hi day. everyone so welcome to my channel and as you will see 
um, I'm not going to be coming out on this video because this video will be my kitchen tour. So you'll be seeing the kitchen and I'll be in the background um, just pointing things out with my finger, I guess. <laughs> so um, this is the curtain going inside my kitchen. So I'm going to open it up. And here it is. And as you all had seen, you all had, had seen, or hopefully you've seen, um, my la or one of my last uh, videos um, where I showed you my counter and I showed you my coffee nook. But here I'm going to give you more of a detailed um, kitchen tour. So we start out in the stove and um, this is like a small little ledge. And um, once again, I'm sorry for the lighting because I'm filming this in the evening. Um, and so I haven't had a lot of time off. So I, uh, and I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. And so I have to take, um, I have to take the opportunity when, when I, when it, pre it presents itself. So anyway, I'm ranting. So here it goes. There, this is a, uh, this is a, it's actually a, a, like a little ledge, okay? And in here I have a, a diffuser, okay? And it has, um, and I don't know what this has. Okay, but, uh, thyme and a little bit of evergreen. Um, even though it's evergreen, um, it actually smells really good. It's like a lemony um, scent. So when you actually um, light that up, it actually smells very like for the kitchen. It kind of smells like like uh, like fruits. Okay. And then here, it's the side of the stove, and this is actually an oil can. All right. And this in here, I only have a strainer, so this is a tea strainer. Okay. And this is some um, flour. Okay. And so here we have my stove, tea kettle, four burners, and this is one of those things that hold your spoon which I use I know that some people have it uh, as a decoration um, gathering dust and oil and whatnot not me um, the secret to uh, having these kind of stove actually nice and shining is basically clean it every day um, I, I'm not going to take credit for it because that's my husband. I cook and he cleans the kitchen. So, yeah, he, he might not be too happy that I share that, but he's really great at it. So, he cleans, this, he cleans the stove every single night. So, you don't have any grease buildup. And how I keep my... Um, my silver, um, my stainless steel uh, appliances shiny. I use pledge, but I use the oil pledge. Okay, so here we go. This is the tile that I'm in my counter. Here we have the hooded range, and it's basically um, stainless steel. And I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's just a plate, a white plate. Okay. And then here we have the cabinets. Now these cabinets are original to um, when they made this building. And they were, I, I can't even find words to say how horrible they were. They're so, they were so dated. They were ugly. It was like a light brown. It was they were horrible, and um, I really didn't want to spend the money in redoing uh, these cabinets. Um, 
Not that I really didn't want to. I don't have that kind of money. Uh, so I, I'm keeping it real. And um, so what I did was I painted it black. And the doors are gray. I updated the handles as you can, well, can see. Okay. And then the backsplash, I did the same thing all around okay and this is the counter guys this is the bit of counter that I had all right um yeah so that was not working for me and that is the reason why I actually built the other counter which I'm gonna show you in a minute so here we have three little um, dessert dishes and this is like a marble um, uh, cutter, board cutter, and it's always it always sits there because um, that's basically what I use, especially when I'm cutting fruits. That's where I do it. I don't cut meat there. And then I have my three little candles there. This is my paper towel holder, and then this is my sink not too exciting and I what I did here was I put a plate um, this here I'm sorry for it being shaking this is hand soap this the, um, the dishwashing soap okay this is really pretty because you can actually tell when you're running low and then this plate actually holds um, my little squeegee thing and my sponge and my cloth. Okay. And when I have guests coming over, I take this out. But I don't. And even when there's no one coming over, it still looks nice and pretty and organized and it's functional because I need everything on there. Okay my sink which again I keep it clean with the oil pledge okay um, this is my um, origins tea kettle and uh, cup then behind here I have like a little small stand and it holds a little let me see if I can show you guys can't see that but it's a little cow, it holds a sponge, then we he have a brush scrubber, and then here I have my mittens and my pot holder and my, right, these right here are my gloves. Okay, and then here I have a light fixture right above my counter, my, um, my shelf. I have a mirror. So I can look at myself while I'm washing dishes. Yeah, right. <laughs> it just look cute there, that's all. Then here I have my hand lotion. And I have the four cups that we um, that we use regularly. This lotion is from Yao, yeah, so I don't even have the okay it's um Crabtree and Evelyn okay so let's go up to the count to the uh, the top of the cabinets so you what I had said previously was that I painted these two doors gray but then here I got rid of the doors okay and what I try to do is keep everything organized and color coordinated. Okay, that's what I did there. And then here, this is the dryer. It's a plain old dryer. Okay, and in that basket, I have the loose socks. So as soon as I do the laundry, I see a loose sock, I put
put it in there and once a week I go through it and sort things out and then everyone takes their laundry and because this was an old this is an old dryer um, because it has to be the dimensions here for this little corner is extremely extremely small so the dryers that are come out now are too big even the small compact ones are too big for this little area okay so what I did was I stuck with the old dryer but I put this um, I'm sure you guys have seen this um, maybe in Home Depot hardware store um, it's like a st silver metallic uh, uh, paper and you peel it off and voila you have a, a steel looking kind of appliance but I couldn't do it in the front because of all the angles okay now I'm going towards the window my window my curtains are gray and white this is my laundry basket and my big um this is my big um dryer not dryer um washing machine it's an old one it's about maybe 10 years but I'm not about to buy one unless I need one so whenever this breaks down then I'll buy one okay this little area here is the area that I showed you guys before and this is the counter that I had the idea for that my husband and I got together and he built it for me okay so over here I have um, light bulbs and fuses and then I have um, detergents and then every, over here I have everyday detergents and then over here I have detergents by the bulk like those big bulky detergents and then up here are more plates um, trays and bowls that we do not tend to use every day um, so this is where I store it okay and then going this way behind that basket there's like a little a cabinet with doors that is where I put my paper goods and when I say paper goods I mean the paper rolls um, cups plastic cup plastic plates um, these um, bounty tissues um, oh, uh, okay I forgot this here is a my dishwasher and my under the sink this is my rug this is my stool it's black so you can't hardly see it but it's a wooden stool that I got at home basics and this is my rug and it's basically a runner like a long runner which is great and then I'm going through my stove again this is my garbage can my light switch which is gray and then up here oh god I hope you guys can see that 
because this is beautiful. Um, it's three and they're basically um, Paris scenes, I think. But they're black and white. And they're supposed to be used um, to actually um, to be served. Um, you can serve food on, on them, but I bought some plate holders and I put them up there. Okay, and here we go back to our coffee nook. And then that's it, guys. This here is my pantry. And that will be another video. So this is an overall. I'm backing up so you guys can see. And just to um, let you guys know, this is the way my kitchen looks all the time, I swear. Um, just because I have, uh, I'm not, I don't think I have OCD, but uh, I need to make sure that everything is in its place as soon as things get done. For example, if I cook, my husband washes the dishes and the stove and we throw away the garbage every single night we never never I mean never never leave dishes in the in the sink okay that's how you get little critters running around your house okay and like I said it's it's a habit of mine since I was a little girl um, so this is the way it always looks. The only time that it's a little bit disarray is if I'm cooking and I might have my condiments here. And also, if you guys also notice, there, there's hardly no counter space, but I don't have this full with blenders and toasters and deep fryers and all that appliances that does not have to be out. Um, some people like it bare, completely bare to the bone. Uh, not me. I, I like to see something pretty on it. Um, and then especially when I have some cookies there and some honey bun and some, you know, little, little snacks there, that looks pretty. And then the same thing over here. I don't have no appliances over here because that's not what this was intended for. Okay. This is our command center, information center, a cookbook. Okay. And then the basic of my regular plates. That's what we eat on every day. All right. All my appliances are out of the kitchen. And they're in my pantry. So... When I show you my pantry, I'm going to show you where I keep all my appliances, where I keep some more of my plates, uh, where I keep my food. Because as you all see, this is a gallery kitchen and it doesn't have any space for food. Um, it doesn't have a pantry, so I had to uh, actually think, think outside the box and figure something out. And so I'll show you what I did with that in case you have the same dilemma that I did. All right, so I hope that this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed my little kitchen. Um, I, you know, I, I live in an apartment. I don't live in a big house, so it's not grand. But it's nice and clean, organized, chic, and modern. You know, it's, and it's my taste. So I love it. So anyway, I hope this gave you got some ideas. And I, I see you on my next video. Bye.